So, Jujutsu Kaisen. <laughs> so, Jujutsu Kaisen Chapter Two Fifty Eight. Now then, we gonna get into it first and foremost. Why the fuck is Miguel even talking? Like, bro, what are you talking about? You're a master. You're a monster at your craft. And I've got to say, in all honesty, it's the biggest piece of dog shit that I have ever heard. Hey, we got Zestfest over here. Evan is so close. We get it, nigga. You're cooked. Get the fuck out the battlefield now. Jesus Christ. All right, and then we move on to. I ain't gonna lie. This shit just straight yapping for like, I don't know, three, four, five pages. Like, bro, I get it. Context, but gay, gay, I ain't gonna lie. This is up to you. This is all on you. You should have been explained this instead of just jumping right into a jump fest. Like, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is crazy. Like, we get a bunch of yapping about, oh, Chozo explaining the intricacies of how, oh, actually, how do you guys use RCT? Which is reverse curse technique for you idiots who don't know. He's talking about some, oh, well, um, I do it differently because it's automatically. Hakari, who asks your gambling ass to explain anything? We know it's automatic for you, bruh. We've seen you use your domain expansion. And then we get freaking, what's her name? Urarame, whatever the freak her, the healing one's name is. God damn, bruh. I don't know, Gojo's ex. I'm just gonna say that, I don't know. And then she's all like, oh, well, it's specific, it's case by case. We get it, you're a doctor, shut up. And then, bro, let's just skip ahead to this nigga Wee Wee. Bro, I don't give a fuck about what anyone says. Wee Wee sold the hardest out of anyone in this manga. I promise you, it is crazy. This man over here talking about some, oh, I can separate the body and the soul. I'm sorry. Why is Megami still with Tsukuna right now then? If you could just do this, and you were literally saying you can do it without any problem, without even Tsukuna knowing it, why ain't you do it yet? Bro, just say you pussy and move on, bro. Like, bro, bro, get this kid out of here, bro. You know what? Man, man, what's, nah, let me shut up. I'm, I'm finna get canceled. Let me shut the fuck up. Nah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Moving on past that shit, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie. We do get a lot of interesting things as far as like Yuji and the intricacies of his training, and we get more context behind his brothers, i.e., Koso's brothers, i.e., Yuji's half brothers in a way whatever he basically consumes them that's why he has a lot of those weird armaments that's why he has more blood manipulation powers and things of that nature cool cute whatever he gets his shadow domain he gets it taught to him by kusakabe you know or as i like to call him kusakut because that nigga got fried by sukuna i ain't gonna lie that shit was crazy so basically that's how he got his ability this chapter was just an explanation on how yuji is able to do anything that he's able to do last chapter and for the past few chapters now so cool cool that's cute or whatever and then for some reason gojo's ghost keeps haunting me every chapter even when there's nothing to do with him for some reason sukuna had to give a little wink and a nod to gojo like bro get this finger out of here and gay gay please as much as i love some sukuna glaze this is od even for me this is od as hell something about the shrine the sparks of black return to the king of curses and he whips out his malevolent shrine it has returned i'm like bro gay gay you mind like cleaning up afterwards like after you done slurping this man but anyway he whips out malevolent shrine he and i quote he unleashes slashes on the scale of shibuya and i'm like all right that's cool or whatever and of course we get the binding vow excuse again for some reason explaining how oh the reason why he's able to recover his malevolent shrine it's because of his binding vow bro the way sukuna whips out binding vows is crazy to me like bro what are the consequences his man has had none and before you idiots say oh well he can't use rct wrong idiot he can't use rct because and i quote it's because yuji over here spamming black flashes as the fraud he is literally just because of the sake of the plot like bro ain't no way what happened to black flashes not being something you can control this nigga don't just hit them with so many black flashes i'm pretty sure megami me felt it I mean, that's kind of the point, but you know what I mean, but like, it's crazy out here. So anyway, aside from that, of course, Sukuna, for some reason, can't recover his RCT when he was literally whipping out black flashes pretty much the same way that Yuji was, but Gege, I know it, I get it. You're trying to give something to Yuji fans, but they deserve nothing. Yuji is nothing but a fraud. It's not even his anime. I don't care. Like at this point, I'm signing with Gojo fans. Like just bring him back at this point. Because at least I have something to hate again. Besides Yuji. God damn. Fuck Yuji. So anyway, moving on. We finally get to the end of the chapter. Another relatively short chapter. Pretty much, Yuji gets cut up to all hell. And for no consequence, and I use that in quotations. It's going to be in the video. Of him using his malevolent shrine and all of these binding vows. Is that he can only use it for, and I literally kid you not, 99 seconds. Which should be more than enough to cook everyone. And I'm pretty sure literally no one got damaged. This man whipped out a literal malevolent shrine on the scale of Shibuya and nobody got packed? Bro, not one body dropped? So can I, what are you doing? And, and then the crazy part is, the literal narrator literally says, again, it literally has the same output, it's strong, it's just as strong. 
yet nobody lost their life. All that happened was Yuji lost a leg, which he has RZT now, so he can just grow it back. There's literally no consequence of him using this. Like, I swear to you, bro, I cannot deal with the amount of Yuji glaze these past few chapters, bro. I can't. I will not put up with it, and I will not deal with it. And then we get to the end of the chapter where it's pretty much a weak break, bro. Bro.